So today we're gonna go into a simple setting that a lot of people overlook. And for me, I've been doing this for a couple years and we, and we often overlook some of the simplest things. So today I wanna focus on the display of the Fire Stick. We're gonna jump into how to resize your Fire Stick to best fit your television set. We're also gonna go into some of the other display options of your Fire TV Stick. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. So this video shouldn't be too long, gonna keep it about two minutes or so. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this obviously should work for your Fire Stick, no matter which version you have. Also should work for your Fire TV Cube or any Fire TV television set that you have. So by now, I am assuming that everyone should have this new UI, the new look UI that was rolled out probably about a year ago at this point. So what you wanna do is go to your settings, gonna go down, you're gonna go over to display and sounds. All right, so on the display and sound, if you scroll down to, you see that we now have the option to configure your display. Click on it, and we have a lot of options here. So the first one is gonna be your video resolution. So mine sets to auto, what that means is that it will automatically detect what you're connected to and try to match that resolution. So unfortunately, this is the Fire TV Stick Lite, which means the max resolution is only 1080p so you can see the options there I have 1080p 60 Hertz 1080p 50 Hertz also have 720p 60 and 50 however like I said if you have a preference or you need to down your resolution for whatever reason you do have those options for now I'm just gonna leave that to auto so the next one is the match the original frame rate so when match original frame rate is on supported apps will use a native content frame rate during video playback, a video resolution must be set to auto. So you can see that um, video resolution is set to auto and I can go in and turn on the match frame rate. So again, personal preference. We also have the color depth. And again, this is really dependent on your display. So we have eight bits, up to 10 bits and up to 12 bits. Uh, obviously the higher bits, uh, the deeper color you're gonna have. So if your display supports it, I will just try to up it. Cool thing about this is that if your display malfunctions, I'll go wonky for whatever reason, it does a countdown, it will just revert back to what you had it before. That way you're not in a blind situation where you're trying to click on something that isn't working and you can't see. So I think that's a cool option. All right. Color format is set to auto, but we have some of those legacy options. So YCBCR, uh, normally a little bit better. Uh, brightness, color difference is gonna be a little bit better for watching movies. So if your display supports that, I'll probably just go ahead and stick to that. However, if you're not sure, you can always leave it to auto. The big one is to calibrate your display. Now, for some people, maybe you switch television sets or uh, you move your fire stick frequently, but if you're in a situation where maybe your fire stick isn't all the way fill on your screen. This is where you'll go to adjust it. So uh, pretty straightforward to adjust it. All you do is use the up and down arrow on your remote. And what you wanna do is just adjust it all the way up until the arrows are touching the tip of your television set or off your monitors like you see here. Uh, once you have it to a, a level where you're satisfied, you can hit accept, or if you screw it up, you can reset it or you can cancel the process at any point. I'm gonna go ahead and accept. Last but not least, we have dynamic range settings. So, so choose the dynamic range settings that you want applied to your Fire Stick. So if you click on it, you can see you have adaptive and you have the option to disable um, HDR. So again, a lot of these settings, probably best to leave um, to auto unless you really know what you're doing. Big one was really to get your display uh, fitted on your screen properly. A lot of folks ask me about that particular issue. Again, just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.